At number seven, I have the Big E, Elvin Hayes. Elvin Hayes was one of the most dominant power forwards to ever grace the hardwood floor. The game did not come naturally for him at first. He was weak and clumsy. However, through hard work and repetition, he became a star player in high school and was one of the first blacks admitted to the University of Houston in 1966. Once there, he was behind Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, then known as Lou Alcindor, college's most dominant player. In 1968, in the first nationally broadcasted regular season college game, Hayes outscored Alcindor 39 to 15, and a victory that snapped Alcindor's UCLA Bruins 47 game win streak. This was known at the time as the game of the century and helped Hayes win the Sporting News College Basketball Player of the Year. In 1968, the 6'9", 235-pound Hayes was drafted by the San Diego Rockets, later become the Houston Rockets. He had one of the best scoring seasons ever for a rookie. In fact, he remains the last rookie to lead the NBA in scoring at 28.4 points per game. He also set his career high of 54 points the same year. On Rookie of the Year, it was named to the All-Rookie Team. In his second season, he became the first player in 13 years other than Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell to lead the NBA in rebounding. But this was mostly due to Chamberlain missing most of the year to injury and Russell retiring prior to the season. In 1972, Hayes was traded from the Rockets to the Bullets and he would form a dangerous front court duo with Wes Unsell who dominated the boards and provided excellent defense eventually making three NBA Finals appearances and winning one championship in 1978. He is still tied with Dennis Rodman, who accomplished the feat twice, with 11 offensive rebounds in the NBA Finals game. Hayes was also noted as an Iron Man. He never played in less than 80 games in a season and finished with 1,303 games played in only 16 seasons. For all of his brilliance on the court, however, Hayes did have some deficiencies. He was not a particularly accurate scorer, shooting just over 45% for his career from the field. Due to his relative low free throw totals, he took many shots to get his points. He tended to fade down the stretch of games and underperformed in many crucial games. He was also accused by many teammates of having a bad attitude. Still. He finished with a career averages of 21 points, 12.5 rebounds, 1.8 assists, and 2.0 blocks. He was enshrined in the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 1990. And his career accomplishments are outstanding. His 27,313 points are 10th all-time in professional basketball history. His 16,279 rebounds are 6th all-time. He was a 12-time NBA All-Star three times was an All-NBA first team, three times was an All-NBA second team, twice he was named on the All-Defensive second team, and he was uh, selected as one of the 50 greatest players ever in 1996, and he had his number 11 retired by the Washington Bullets, who are now known as the Washington Wizards. Number seven, the Big E. Elvin Hayes.